clear your breakups because I'm a rough napper. Wait, pause. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel my name is Madison and this channel is all about makeup and today we will be doing our 2017 favorites and there's a lot of stuff in front of me but we're just about to jump right in but first you need to click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and like this video so let's just jump on in alrighty the first thing I'm going to talk about is my favorite thing in the whole entire world and I wash with it every single day and it's the acne triple Cl acne triple clear exfoliating scrub and um this stuff is great I use it every night I don't care if I'm if I take a shower if I don't I still use it because this keeps my face so clear okay and we're gonna kind of go in order that you put your makeup on just so y'all know Okay, and then at nighttime, I really love doing these, and I kind of feel bougie when I do them, so I do them quite a lot, but I like the Bio Bella face mask, and I'm sorry if there's a glare, I'm still getting new to this. As you can tell, we have changed our setup, so I got a ring light now, so the lighting is excellent. I have a backdrop, which just came in the mail yesterday, and as you can tell, it's very wrinkly, but I have to wait until the wrinkles fall out because my mom said I can't iron it. Because she said she'd kill me if I mess up her iron. So, but these make me feel bougie. And then I wake up in the morning, like the day after I use it, and my skin feels so smooth. And then I feel like my makeup looks good for the rest of the day. And it's great. Okay, so the next thing I'll talk about is something that kind of came out in December. But it's still great. And it's the sugar cookie chapstick. Y'all, this stuff is brand new because I bought a new one today. Hold on. Okay. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. And my favorite kind of cookies are sugar cookies. And I'll put this on if I didn't have lipstick on. But this stuff's great. And I use it every night to like moisturize my lips before I go to sleep. So the next day when I wake up. My lipstick doesn't look like flaky from where your lips are chapped. Okay, next thing we're going to talk about is primers. And one primer really stuck out to me the whole entire year. And this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I only went through one of these. And I got this in like March, whenever St. Patrick's Day is. I don't really know. But, um, I got this, and this was what I used all year long, and at least one of them. This lasted me that long, which I didn't use it every day, but still, that's very good. Okay, next thing we're going to talk about is foundations, and I have two of them. No, three, sort of three of them. Okay, the first one, y'all didn't see me talk much about this on camera, but this was good for every day. And it's the Better Skin by Maybelline. And this has sa with salicylic acid. And so what that does, this is the type of acid that really helps clear your breakups. And at the beginning of 2017, my face was really breaking out because I was using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. And I wasn't taking my makeup off properly. And it really hurt my skin but then I've learned like throughout the year the best way to take care of my type of skin so this really helped with that and I, I've gone through several bottles of these this year okay the next thing we're going to talk about is something you hear me and Bailey talk about all of the time and this is the wet n wild photo focus foundation and this stuff is the best for the money and I I'd wear this when I wanted more full coverage then this could give me and this was really like the best foundation for me of 2017 okay now I'm gonna tell y'all about my favorite summer foundation whoops that's kind of sad to say this is the kind of foundation I only like in the summer but I like the BB fresh 
by Maybelline and this was great for when my skin was just super clear and I didn't need anything like to help with it and I would just throw this on and then make it look like I kind of tried but okay and then I want to tell y'all about something that changed my life in 2017 so this was the year that I was really starting to get into makeup and it was really the beginning of the year was really hard like trying to get into it because I've definitely had a lot of things to learn and I've grown like from my makeup mistakes and one of the things that has helped me like with my makeup application is my beauty blender and I have gone through so many of these and yes they are twenty dollars they're expensive but if you buy one it changes your life and it doesn't become like something that oh my gosh I don't have to splurge on this it becomes something you need to put your makeup on and if you take care of them they'll last a really long time so this was a great thing to put my makeup on this year okay next thing I want to talk about is my setting powder and I had to buy a new one today because I ran out of my old one and then I just ran out of my Laura Mercier setting powder which I would not buy because that is way too expensive I'd buy the Katie Ayers one and this is in translucent extra coverage and this was my favorite setting powder of 2017 going into 2017 I was using oh I don't know the name of it but it gave me really bad flashback in pictures and I looked back at the beginning of 2017 and I was like Ooh, like why Madison why did you why did you do that but after lots of makeup videos and learning, this is what I need to buy. This has been my favorite setting powder of 2017. And I'll continue to buy this setting powder in 2018 and probably 2019. Because it's like $7. And Laura Mercier is $40. Which is too much for me. Okay. Now we're going to talk about a concealer that changed my life. This just needs to be makeup that changed Madison's life video. Not my favorites because this will be my favorite in 2018. Um, this is my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. And this has been my shade all year long. And this is the best concealer. And I tell everybody, I do not buy a lot of like high-end like foundation and concealer and stuff. Because you go through it so fast and it's like, it's hard to pay $20 for a concealer. When you can go to the like Walmart and get it for like 5 Trust me, I'm a waitress. I know these things. People don't tip good. But this is something I will spend $20 on in a heartbeat. And I have extras. I have back of this because I know it's my favorite thing in the world. And I really recommend this to anybody with any type of skin. Because this really helps with your overall. Like you can tell like my under eye looks smooth. And it's all because of this right here. Okay, next we're going to talk about like bronzer and contour. And before 2017, I didn't even know what that was going into it, which is kind of sad, but I will. Um, I just used to do eyeshadow and foundation and set in my eyes, and that was it. And then one day I was like, I'm going to buy the Hula bronzer. And of course, I mean, I brought like, you know, the travel size because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And... I loved it. I fell in love with it. Well, then Hula Light came along. Well, and, I mean, buying that, I mean, that's $40 too. And stuff like that's expensive. I mean, I'm a college student. I know things like this are hard for people our age to, like, get. You know, it's kind of hard to ask your mom to buy you a $40 bronzer. So, I saved up my money and I bought this. And this is the Cheek Parade by Benefit. And I'll show the inside of it. This is what it looks like. And in this spot there was a brush. But there's Rockator, California, Dandelion, Hula Light, and Hula. And this was really like a smart idea of me because I have bl I have three blushes and two bronzers. And so this helps when I'm doing like makeup on other people because I have a lighter skin tone. But somebody with a darker skin tone, if they come and sit in my chair, I'd be able to help them, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna talk about a blush. Sorry, that stuff just fell. But now we're gonna talk about a blush, and this is the Tarte Amazon Amazonian Clay 
blush in the shade Party. And if you can see, I've really used this so much. And let's see if I can just swatch for y'all. You can't really see it. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. So, But this blush, I got it for my birthday with your birthday rewards. And I before then, I'd never, you know, bought a high-end blush. And I haven't even... I haven't even bought a high-end blush yet. So, everyone I've received has been like Ipsy or when I use my Sephora points, something like that. Because blushes, it's really hard to spend $20 on a blush. And they're not even sure if you're going to like it. Trust me, I know these things. But, I recommend the Tarte blushes because they really do last all 12 hours like they say they do. Because... I mean, I wake up at 8 in the morning, I go to school, I come home, and then I go to work, and I don't get home until 10 or 11 o'clock. And when I get home, my makeup still looks good, and I still see the blush on my face. <sighs> okay, now we're going to talk about highlighter. And if y'all watch my videos, y'all know my favorite highlighter in the whole entire world is Rodeo Drive by Ofra, and it's what I'm wearing today. Y'all can see it. I'm glowing to the gods. I hope you can see my nose glowing. <laughs> but this has been my favorite. And it's all because of Nikki tutorials. And here's like a swatch. This past year they put out, they put the Ofra highlighter in Red Eye Drive in their BoxyCharm. And before BoxyCharm, there was probably no way I'd ever buy this for myself. But... I went on Poshmark and there's like older women that get BoxyCharm and then they get the stuff and they don't know what to do with it. So, Madison goes up there and she buys the Ofra Highlight for $5. And that's been probably my, this has been my favorite thing of 2017 by far. Okay, now we're going to go into eyeshadow. Wait, pause. We're going to do eyeshadow primer first. Okay, so in 2017, this was kind of my favorite, but then I started using concealer at the end of 2017. But at the beginning, it was the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and this stuff makes your eyeshadow stay all day long. I don't care if you rub your eyes, I don't care if you go to sleep, take a nap, because I'm a rough napper. This stuff, it stays all day long, and it still looks fresh by the end of the night. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is... The Jaclyn Hill Pile. And for any of y'all that to watch my videos since day one, y'all know this is my favorite eyeshadow palette. And that will always be my favorite eyeshadow palette. So, and this is by Morphe. There's warm tones, cool tones, greens, blues, reds, pinks, greens, purple. Every eyeshadow color you need is in this palette. And it's either in a shimmer or a matte shade. So you have all the shades that you would ever really need. And this look, this palette has definitely shown, been shown lots and lots of love. So. And then, another eyeshadow palette that was my favorite is the Modern Renaissance palette. And this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And as you can see, it was loved very dearly. Because they're shades that aren't even in there no more. That you can't even get out of the pan. And this was like the first, I'd say, like the best warm tone palette of 2017 because of the way it blended. It was hard to work with if you're new, but it was the best palette. Okay, now I'm going to talk about two mascaras. And they're both from the drugstore because Madison doesn't ball big on things like these. Okay, so the first thing is the Colossal. Big Shot Mascara, and I'll show you like the wand. I just like the way this was like went on my eyes. It just made my eyelashes look really big and really plump, I guess you'd say. Okay, and then the next one was the Lash Paradise. And I like this one because it was a dupe for the Better Than, the, for the better than Sex Mascara. And, I mean, this looks exactly like... The Better Than Sex Monster Gear. And I've used that one before. And they're literally the same formula, same everything. Okay. Now we're going to turn on my favorite eyeliner. And I've had this eyeliner, y'all, since like last March. And it's still going strong 
Thought it was going to run out on me today, but I gave it a few shakes, and it's all good. But it's the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And I did this, like, my wing. I don't really do a wing almost. I don't do a wing every day, but I do it, like, six out of the seven days of the week, probably. And this has still been going strong. And it's my favorite. It's like, I can get that nice, precise, like, flick to it, and we're good. Okay, next, I'm going to tell y'all about my favorite lash glue. And... It's probably something y'all don't hear me talk about because I don't really talk about how I wear your fake eyelashes much. But this is the Duo Lash Glue. And it's like the clear kind. And my bottle's definitely been showing a lot of love. But this stuff is the best. It makes my eyelashes stay and my inner corner does not pop out of place. Which is great. Okay, then I have the last two things are two setting sprays. And... This kind of came out in the middle of 2017, but I got it kind of towards the end, but it was still my favorite. And it's the Morphe Setting Spray. And I love this because it's like a continuous spray. Like, it doesn't stop. It's so good. Oh, I love it. Okay. Then the, nut, the other thing that I really like is the MAC Prep and Prime Spray. And I only use this to make my eyeshadows more pigmented and it did a great job at that. This was my, I used all of this just on getting eyeshadow to be like more vibrant. But that was every, all of my favorites for 2017. So make sure to comment down below your favorites of 2017 or your already new favorites of 2018 and click the, click my face, it's gonna be like right here in this corner. Or maybe it's going to be in this corner. Click my face wherever it's going to be. And subscribe to my channel before you leave. And leave it. Make sure to leave a comment. And that's it. Bye guys. I thought I would know better.